Hello again, everybody. This is Derek at ScreamingTheLairSoft.com, and today we're going to do a review. This review is going to be of this ACOG scope. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to shoot at that. I'm going to actually zero the ACOG scope on those targets right there, and I will show you what you get and how do you adjust these, uh, how you adjust it left and right, up and down, how it attaches, and all the intricate parts of this ACOG scope. Now, just to let you know. Uh, ahead of time. This ACOG scope did come flat black. I had painted it to match my M4. So it's actually a flat black ACOG scope. It is not camouflage. That is hand painted. Okay, now let's talk about the features on this uh, ACOG. First of all, it's a red green dot scope. Okay, it only has a red or a green dot. You have a battery compartment which is located right there you open that battery compartment the battery goes right on inside there um, the on off switch is right here um, the on off basically is an op and it goes red 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 green 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 okay it goes red 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 off green 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 off okay and then red 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 and it cycles again and it goes dim me medium bright same thing red dim medium bright Okay, um, if you put it on bright, obviously you're going to use up your battery faster. If you put it on dim, you might not see it in the daytime. So um, put it where you want it. I put it usually in the mid range. Uh, unless it's really bright outside and it's hard to see, I crank it up. Um, use green or red based on your environment. If you uh, uh, green is a more intense light, it will use up your battery probably twice as fast as red. Um, but it's sometimes easier to see a green on an urban environment, okay, or desert or something like that. In the woodland, I tend to use it on red because it doesn't blend in with the background of the woods. That's personal preference. That's however you want to do it. Um, now, uh, let me give you a, an example of what it might look like on in the inside of this red dot scope. Okay, that is green. Let's see if you can even get a sight of that. Okay, I'm going to try to find a spot. Hmm, my camera's all jacked. Okay, let's try it this way. Can you see that green dot in there? Hmm, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on red. Okay, it's on red. Let's see if you can see that. I would expect you to be able to see red a lot easier in the wood line. Can you see that red dot in there? Okay. All right, and that's what it would look like when you're looking through it. One reason why I like the ACOG style is, if you notice, it is lifted up. A good two or three inches so when I'm wearing my mask instead of being down here behind a uh, behind like an iron sight the mask actually pushes my face up because it's got all that extra crap on it so now I can actually see through the ACOG without having to you know wear just goggles or something to look through a scope or something that's lower um, I have a low scope and I've considered putting like a rail razor on it just to get it up but with this ACOG no need it's elevated enough you can see through it just fine okay now let's talk about adjusting this I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing all right right here we got the ACOG on the M4 now to remove it or to put it on it's so simple you just unscrew right here releasing the plate and then it comes right off super simple right Okay, well, I'm going to put it back on. If you notice, when I camouflaged my M4, I camouflaged it with the sight on it. What that kind of does is it tells me exactly where I need to put my sight back on when I take it off and need to put it back on. And about the only time I need to take it off is when I change a battery. Because it's really hard to get into this knob once it's tightened down on your weapon. Okay, you want to make that secure and snug 
so that your ACOG's on there the same every time. Okay, now the next thing you want to look at, and it's not really an ACOG, okay? It is a red dot scope. It just looks like an ACOG. Okay, um, real ACOGs cost in the neighborhood of $900 to $1,000. Okay, this is the on off button. This and this are your windage and elevation knobs. Okay, now when you, all they do is they cover the windage and elevation adjustment screws. I'm only going to remove one because they're both identical. Okay. Inside there, you can see that you've got a flathead and a turny knobby thingy. Okay. My, my ACOG is zeroed and I'm not going to make any adjustments. But you just put your screwdriver in there. You can put a coin. You can put a um, knife blade. You can put whatever you've got in there. Keychain, key or whatever. And you turn it and you click it. When it says up and you turn clockwise, um, it actually raises the dot inside your scope up. Okay. It doesn't raise your bullets up. It raises your sight up. So if your bullets are shooting high, you bring your dot up to meet the bullets. When you zero, you're moving the sights to meet the bullets. Remember that. Okay. Same thing with the left and right. Okay, on the inside there it says right. So when you move the knob to the right, it moves the light to the right. It's chasing your bullets. Basically, if your bullets are going to the right, you need to move the sight to the right because you want your sight to be where your bullets are landing. Now here's me zeroing this ACOG scope. Control my breathing, and go. Haha, <laughs> I gotta kick it off the safe. All right, well, I fired a little bit more than five, it looks like. Fired one, two, three, four, five, six, that's what I thought. But you notice, if I was to average this out, it looks like it's still hitting right about there. So I brought it down, um, didn't go lower than this one, but it did for some reason. I got that crazy shot there. You know how not every baby's perfect. So I'm gonna ignore that shot. You wanna ignore shots that are caught by the wind or the hop really affected it like dram dramatically. So I'm gonna average these shots and it looks like it's right on target. So I'm gonna verify this by shooting at this target here. And that right there, my friend, is a zeroed airsoft gun. All right, well, that was me zeroing this ACOG. Okay, that was in a know-it-all video, but I spliced that in here just to give you some meat. And that's basically it. This is my ACOG scope. I love it. Um, do you need to change the battery regularly? Yeah, probably about every two or three months you need to change the battery. So make sure you've got a couple extra batteries laying around. Um, other than that, uh, you can find this on ScreamEagleAirsoft.com. Uh, we have a variety of different styles of these ACOG red dot scopes. They're not actual ACOGs, remember that. They are just red dot scopes. Um, and I think you'll be pleasantly pleased with them. I, I love mine. And when I shoot, I hit. I love it. 
Thanks again for checking out this video. You have a wonderful day. And remember, guys, please subscribe. Whenever you're on the Airsoft field, play safe.